Yo, boku no namai wa I call so this, and I'm not very good at speaking Japanese, so I don't know if any of that was correct. But I do Japanese in school, I really like it, and so I decided to make a game to refine my skills in just 6 hours. That's right Duolingo, I'm coming for you. So here's a quick lesson on Japanese. Don't take this advice seriously because I am so stupid it's not even funny. Japanese is broken up into three different alphabets. Hiragana, used for inflections and words deriving from Japanese itself. Katakana, used for words borrowed from other languages. For example, anime comes from the English word animation, or in some translation, it's actually French. I don't know, I'm dumb. And then there's kanji, which we're not gonna bother with because there are over 50,000 kanji characters. You know, I think I made a mistake choosing Japanese as a subject. Here is a hiragana chart. You start from the right and move your way to the left, and you have the five vowels. A, i, u, e, and o. And then you start adding consonants. So there's the ka, sa, ta, and nut line, etc. Also, you can do some funky stuff to already existing characters. For example, this is ha, you can change it to ba and pa by adding small strokes to the top right, and this changes the entire line. You can apply all of this to katakana as well, it's the same structure but with different characters. That is a very, very simple explanation of these two alphabets, there is quite a lot more to it, but I don't think I'll need to explain it for the game that I'm making. The general concept for the game is pretty simple. You get shown one character and you will then have the choice of four romaji, basically the transliteration of the Japanese characters. One will be correct, three will be wrong, and then you'll have to choose the right one. If you choose the wrong one, you die. Time to put things in Unity and hope it works. Blank screen. It now has a red circle and is looking like the Japanese flag. This is where the subject character, or kana, will be. The problem is, there are just too many hiragana characters all at once. I decided to split up the 69 characters Haha, <laughs> that's the funny number! into four different categories. Group 1 being the a, ka, and gut lines. Group 2 being the sa, za, ta, and dat lines. Group 3 being the na, ha, ba, and pat lines. And group 4 being the ma, ya, ra, and wat lines. Don't worry if you're confused, I am too, always, with everything, ever, please help. So for the time being, I'm going to focus on group 1, a, ka, and ga. I added these options below the circle which you can click on, but the problem is that they're all the same answer. Like I said, only one should match the character in the circle and the others would be incorrect. So going back to the magic that is coding, we now have four different answers. The character in the circle is a, so if I click the corresponding answer below it, a new character pops up. However, I can click on an answer that is completely incorrect and it won't make a difference. But still, if you get an answer wrong in this game, you should be punished. On the right, we now have a percentage counter to show how many answers you have correct, and so you can play for as long as you like. On the left, a circle will indicate a correct answer, while a cross indicates an incorrect answer, just like in Japanese schools. Look at me being all cool. This only took me about an hour, so I was feeling pretty confident, but there was still a lot more that I had to do to be able to call this game complete. Firstly, I put together this really simple title screen. It's called Maru Kana, Maru meaning circle, Kana meaning Japanese character, I am just such the big brain. You also have two choices, whether to go for Hiragana or Katakana, and then when you clicked one, you had the choices of going into the four different groups. I separated these groups into entirely different scenes, Probably not the best or most efficient way to go about it, but for a 6 hour challenge you can't always make everything neat and tidy. Slapping together these menus took a long time, you might not think it, but each transition and UI element can really be a tedious project. So this whole process took me about an hour and a half, so I was two and a half hours into this challenge. And that's when I realised I was basically done. I spent a couple of minutes in BFXR making some sound effects and the game was complete. What was supposed to be a 6 hour challenge was more like a 3 hour challenge, so that's pretty cool. If you want to try and learn some Japanese for yourself, don't play this game, it is not very helpful and like other games that I've been making recently, they're just supposed to be small projects and prototypes to boost my coding abilities. Thank you very much for watching everyone and a special thank you to my supporters over on Patreon, especially DerpyDanny35, DiamondDev and Gunst. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.